You can create your flashcards outside of the app, either in a spreadsheet or text editor. In this video, I'll go over how to format your text, how to transfer your flashcards into the app using our website or using Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, and finally, how to update an existing deck. Entering your flashcard text into a spreadsheet or text editor. Let's go to a spreadsheet now and take a look at the format. Column A is the question, and column B is the answer. The top row is a special header row that tells the app what's in each column. Text 1 is the text to show on side 1. Text 2 is the text to show on side 2. If you are working in a text editor, the format is exactly the same, but you'll use a tab to move to the next item. I will show you how to add pictures and sounds to your flashcards. You don't include the actual picture in the Excel file, but instead type in the file name. Here you can see I added a column header of picture 1, which means this is the picture to show on side 1. Below are names of files I want to include in my flashcards. You can also add your own custom sound clips by using a header like sound 2. Once you have your text created, it's time to transfer your flashcards into the app. A few options are 1. Using our website 2. Using Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive and 3. Opening a file on your device and sending it to the app. Let's first look at using our website to help you transfer your flashcards into the app. Go to flashcardsdeluxe.com Click Upload here on our website, each deck is identified using a deck code, which you create. I'll enter ET Spanish 1. ET are my initials. Enter a deck name. In the flashcard text box, paste your text from your spreadsheet or text document. Select the Use Cells, Copy, Paste. Click Upload Flashcards to send to server. If you don't have any pictures or sounds, you are ready to go to the app to download. In this example, I have pictures defined, so now I need to upload them. Click Upload Pictures Sounds. You can upload each file individually, or zip and upload a single file. Let's go to the app. Tap Plus to add a new deck. Tap Private Deck. This is the option to use when you've uploaded to our website using a deck code. Enter the deck code and download. The second method to transfer flashcards is to use one of the following storage services Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. I will use OneDrive in this video. If using Google Drive, instead of using an Excel spreadsheet, you'll generally create a Google Sheet, which can be edited. We've already created our flashcard text in Excel, but we need to know where to put this file so the app can find it. First, go to the app and log in to our desired service. This will create a Flashcards Deluxe folder where we can then store our flashcard file in. We log in by tapping plus like we are adding a new deck. Note that Flashcards Deluxe never has access to your username or password for these storage services. After logging in the first time, you'll see the following screen with details on where to put your files. Now that we know where, let's copy our spreadsheet there. Since we have media files, we need to know where to put these. In our Flashcards Deluxe folder, create a subfolder with the same name as the spreadsheet, but with media at the end. Return to the app and add the deck. Updating your deck. Let's say you've made changes to your spreadsheet and you want to transfer the updates to the app. In our spreadsheet, I've added a new row in the middle. If you are using our website, you'll copy paste your complete new list into the website using the same deck code. We are using OneDrive for this example and I've updated the spreadsheet in OneDrive. In the app, tap Edit, then tap the deck. 
Notice the deck code. This will define the deck's location in the cloud. Here the deck code starts with O for OneDrive. Tap Download Update. Tap Update 1 at the bottom to update this one deck. When you run this, all cards will get replaced with the new set of cards, but the app will try to match up the old and new cards in order to copy your existing statistics to the new cards. This card matching is done by looking for unique matches on side 1 and or side 2 of the old and new cards. Opening up this deck, you'll now see four cards. This original card maintained its statistics. The next card is the new card. You should now have an understanding of how to create flashcards outside of the app and transfer them into the app. I'll go over exporting and backing up in the next video. Thanks for watching.